down in the cancer center at Community Regional Medical Center. Teresa is undergoing treatment for breast cancer. I had no diagnosis. I just went for my ordinary mammogram. My physician called me and he told me that I had a stage one cancer. I was mad. This was my time now, you know. Gary and Teresa have been happily married for 42 years. <laughs> Don't take it's a sob story, so I'm just kidding. Sorry. No, I'm good. You, you just never know. You know, this is our health situation. Well, we're not the only ones that have these situations. These hospitals wouldn't be there if people didn't get sick and have to go to the hospital. Fortunately for Teresa, this hospital is using a state-of-the-art treatment that can keep her cancer from ever coming back. There's a newer technology now that just uh, we started doing probably about nine years ago uh, called partial breast irradiation. A catheter has been placed in Teresa's breast. The ends of the catheter surround the area where Teresa's tumor was found prior to her undergoing a lumpectomy. The CAT scan shows the ends of the catheter surrounding the tumor. The catheter allows Dr. Michael Payne to target specific areas and limit the amount of radiation. Basically, this is patient's body here, and inside is the catheter. And then you have her heart and her lungs that we try to represent. That way we know how much dose her heart and lungs are getting, if any. Teresa must first get an x-ray. So what we're checking here is that this catheter has multiple channels, and those channels are very important to stay in the same area that they were in when we first filmed the patient. So what we do is we take an x-ray before each treatment and compare it to the original x-rays, just to make sure that there was no rotation in those channels because it's very important that they stay in the same place that they were in. The catheter is still in the correct position, so the treatment can now begin. It looked just like they did when we first took the pictures a week ago. Teresa's catheter is uncovered. In the beginning, I could feel a little bit of like, so tiny that if you're not even paying attention, you wouldn't feel anything. It was like little worms. <laughs> That's what I, the only way I can describe it. The lines that will carry the radiation treatment are being fed through tubes into the catheter in Teresa's chest. Each tube is then placed into a machine that will deliver the radiation treatment. Dr. Payne can adjust the amount of radiation each tube carries. Teresa will receive the exact amount of radiation she needs to make sure all of her cancer cells are eradicated. It is a huge breakthrough because what it does is it allows us to give higher doses of radiation per, per each time they get radiation because we're only treating a smaller area, and so we can do the treatment quicker. Um, and usually, usually it takes about a week, about five days to do the treatment twice a day. Uh, so patients love that option because it cuts out five and a half weeks of coming to see us every day. Teresa never thought she would be living with breast cancer, but because of state-of-the-art treatment, she's not only living, she's thriving. Luckily for her, it was early stage breast cancer. After Teresa had her tumor removed, she began a new procedure called partial breast irradiation. It's faster, more efficient, and most importantly, should keep her cancer from ever coming back. And the reason that they started doing this treatment actually was for rural women who could not come in every day for six and a half weeks. Women who lived two, three hours away, it was you know almost near impossible for them to come in every day for six and a half weeks to get their treatment. So those women opted to get a mastectomy instead of the, the, the lumpectomy surgery. Now with this option, we can get them in, we can get them done in a week, they come in, they stay with relatives, or they stay in the hotel for a week, get the treatment, and they're done. It took all of five minutes, that's all, and it's done. You're up and out of there and you go home. There's nothing to it. Teresa, she's doing great. She is, she's doing wonderful. She's going through the treatments without any problems, um, as expected, and she's going to do well. For Gary, Life without his soulmate is hard to imagine. Yeah, I thought about that. 